what a disaster. All ready, all bloody ready. Go on, Mikel. Have a shot, have a shicking shot. Again, again. Yes! Undeservedly yes! so, deservedly so. another video oh we're back home after two back-to-back -back away games i got my hat ready i got my tracksuit underneath ready and the best of luck of all i've got my cornish pasty ready and hopefully it'll bring us goodness into this game it's a very big game it's preston at home preston north end ryan lowe Ryan Lowe, the man who snaked us for the money during the 21-22 season. And he will return to home park today. So I hope there is a lot of atmosphere from the home crowd today. There's probably gonna be a lot of people dressed up as cleaners from the home crowd today, but we'll see. The last time we faced Preston was in September during round six of the season in my sixth episode of the season and that's i'm counting the two cup games of crystal palace and Leyton orient 
We lost 2-1. We played very well though. We were the better side second half as well. Especially when Ryan Hardy scored against his former manager. We were pressing for an equaliser during that second half as well, but it was too little too late. So, obviously, we didn't get a draw at the end. It was our third defeat of the season in six games. And Preston, back then, were top of the league. So, it's a lot different now. We're going into this game 17th in the table. Preston's going into this game, I think they're ninth in the table. They're either ninth or 10th. They're chasing for playoffs, but I will double check. They're 11th, they're 11th. And Preston are coming into this match on the back of losing to Stephen Schumacher. Stephen Schumacher and Stoke get one over Preston last weekend while we were at Ewood Park getting a one-all draw at Blackburn. Obviously, there is seven places separating the two sides. My score prediction, well, I was really confident coming into this weekend in a way, I can't lie. But I don't want to be too cocky because we need to fix our form first. Obviously, we got a point at Blackburn. We should have won. We should have won and we should have taken advantage of them going down to 10 men, but a point's better than nothing. But hopefully that performance we did at Blackburn will lead us back to good form again, fingers crossed. But we'll see. I'm going 1-0 Argyle. I think we'll do it. I think we'll get revenge on low. The players will be up for getting revenge on low. So will the fans. It's gonna be a mental game, but I think it'll be tighter than what you think. But we also need to win, because if we lose today, there is going to be huge, huge, huge pressure on our manager, Ian Foster. Huge pressure. And that's going to be interesting to see and, uh, well, stressful to see if we do lose today. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I will be frustrated. I will be annoyed, as will the rest of the fan base. But I just hope we can at least play well today as well, because we need to. We need to really bounce back. Our last win was nearly a month ago at Middlesbrough, and this March has been well. To be honest with you guys, this March so far has been one to completely forget. We have not won a single game this month yet. Lost to Ipswich. Lost to Sheffield Wednesday. Drew with Blackburn. We need a win. And also, the last time we won at home was Cardiff at the end of January. We have got to get our home form back up to goods, back up to grabs. Because that's the key of staying in this league. And we're known for how well we usually are at home as well. So, yeah. Because Coventry was a draw. Leeds was a defeat. West Brom was a defeat. Ipswich was a defeat. But we'll see how today goes either way. It'll be really interesting to see. I really want to get one over Ryan Lowe. Ian Foster taking on Ryan Lowe. Two Scousers going head to head. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, I've got to go through my predicted lineup now, actually, because I am on a little bit of a rush to the ground at the moment. Unfortunately, where I wanted to do my intro for this video, I have not had time, unfortunately. I do apologise. And then, of course... The minute I know I'm ready to do my intro, it freaking rains, doesn't it? And just ruins every single bit of quality, doesn't it? Oh, I try my best. Anyways, let's go with my predicted lineup. I feel like a lot of Lowe's former players will be up for this game. So we will go with Michael Cooper in goal. The same back three as Blackburn. Lewis Gibson, Ashley Phillips, Julio Plegazuelo. Then I'm going to go on the wing. Bally wing backs, Bally Mumba and Joe Edwards. Joe Edwards is obviously a former Ryan Lowe player. Captain, we need the drive from the captain if we want to get anything out of this game. I, I'd love to see him start today, I can't lie. Randall and Houghton in the midfield, former Ryan Lowe players, definitely do that. Also, I was not hugely impressed with Forshaw's performance at Blackburn. And then my front three, 
I'm going to go Bundu, Whitaker, and Hardy, the same as Blackburn. But I wouldn't be shocked if JB does start. So I wouldn't mind either one of JB or um, Bundu, to be fair. But we will see. We will see. It will be interesting to see. I'd just love us to get one over him. Absolutely love us to get one over the Lily Whites. It will be a good day if we do. I should just come here now every home game to expect to rain. That's all it does now. What's it rain for our next home game against Bristol City? It's our West Country Derby and it'll be written in the stars if it rains during that. Ones to look out for for Preston today. Dwayne Holmes, he scored against us at Deepdale. Will Keane, he can be prolific on his day. Obviously, he knows how to score against us as well, or play against us as well. He knows how to play against us as well. Former Wigan man, we faced him in the League One days. And it was in the season Wigan were champions as well. Uh, Liam Miller, definitely look out for him. He, in my opinion, has been Preston's best player this season. What a season he's had. But no, it will be interesting to see. That's for sure. Come on, Greens. Let's get something over Ryan Lowe today. And we need to get back to winning ways. This is serious. And also, our home form. I don't want to find us dropping into the bottom three after today. Or I will cry. And I will get my stress ball later on and throw it. Come on, Greens. Let's do us proud today and let's get one over. A man who could have taken us further up the table, potentially. But he buggered off for the money. Up the Janners, up the Greens, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green Army! Right. We're at the ground now, pretty much. Well, we already were, but turning around past the Leslie statue. Come on, let's do this. It's been a week since we did the last episode. Come on, let's get one over Preston today. Come on, you greens. Right, Richard, what are we thinking for today? Preston at home, Ryan Lowe um, returns to home park. I went in a 1-1. We don't, I feel we, I feel really cocky now, I can't lie. I've gone 1-0 Argyle. You are, yeah. I will admit, I just sit in the last field matches. I will admit, I said 3-0 during the start of the week. Yeah, but, I'll be honest, I would love to But that's because I just want one over Ryan Lowe. I want one over Ryan Lowe, seriously. Yeah. And like you said off camera, we need to fix our home form today. We, have to, what we haven't won at home now since Cardiff in January. Yeah. And we haven't won a game now since nearly a month ago at Borough. Yeah. Not the problem. If I did, about last Saturday don't really rub up with me, we need to tell that we on one of the I last team, Matt. I feel Down like here. if this goes badly today, this could be his last chance. Yeah, it could be his last time. chance, but I don't know. A lot of people are foster out. There's some people that are fostering. For me, I guess it depends on today. I don't uh, know. Me, I don't I've know. Been, I've, been, I've been fostered out for a while. You've been fostered out for a while. I'm trying okay. to give him a chance, but I just have yeah. Well, I said after Sheffield Wednesday, he has one last chance. He got us a point at Blackburn, so I thought, okay, I'll go easier on, yeah. on everyone now. Uh, but no, I'm back. I'm back in Hardy to get a winner for us. Who are you I, back? I in? don't know. I saw more than earlier in that in a very very good mood. Oh, oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, that's good uh, to see. Which current good mood? I finally with more than Vicky that long. Like, I finally got a selfie with more than. Nice, nice, nice. Is there anyone for Preston you're nervous for today? I have picked. Oh, team. You've got Will Keane, I've picked Liam Miller myself, oh, but, Liam Miller, and also oh, yeah. Dwayne Holmes, because he scored against us at Deepdale. Yeah, 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds, start of the season, not good at all, uh, but I'm not surprised, we're used to conceding these <laughs> days, so, but yeah, no, um, it'll, be an, it'll be interesting to see, you're right, Sean. Uh, yeah. It will be interesting to see, but yeah, no, um, you reckon 1-1 today? I reckon 1-1, I would love a 3-0, but we, we need that. Consistency at all, but yeah, no, I agree. Back. I agree. It's a crucial month coming up, and then yeah, well, uh, we, because we got Norwich away at the end and of this month to wrap City off. Monday, yeah, West, West Country Derby. Sort of saying 2 1. 2 1, hopefully. Okay, well, I like the confidence. I like the confidence. Anyway, I, I'm gonna head into the ground now. Uh, got stuff to do in there as usual, and then yeah, we head to kick off. We'll see you then. Don't Go on, Rich. Message for the boys today. Don't worry, you boy. Let's do the team on me. <laughs> Ah, someone's listened. Come on. Right. Ryan Lowe. 
at home. The man who got us top of the league briefly at the start of the season of 21-22 has re is returning to home park today for our 37th game of the season. I think it's our 37th game of the season. Yeah. Norwich is 38. Bristol City's 39. Rotherham's 40. QPR, Leicester. Stoke, Millwall, Hull. No, it is game 38. I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. I think we've got a very misty um, 90 minutes coming up as the Devonport end looks on, the Lindhurst end looks on, the Barn Park end looks on. I know Preston have not sold out today, so we have been given more allocations today, home fans wise, but we'll be interested to see. Uh, Correct me on what match on um, what match out of 46 this is. It's one of 37 or 38. But anyways, we got a big one today at home park. Preston at home. Ryan Lowe returning to home park. I want us to get over him today. Get one over. Anyway, see you there. They didn't sell out today, but we got to give them more allocation. We're underway, about seven minutes in, nil-nil. Preston's already made a substitution. One of their players is injured already. I don't know who it was. We've got to win today. We have got to win today. Please. That's all I can say. Come on. Go on, Badu! There he is. Ryan freaking low. He's got Miller on the left. At least we didn't concede in 30 seconds this time, like we did at Deepdale. Go on! Oh, Preston won that well. Will Rose Pasties deliver for me today? Come on. And Preston's already looking for it, time wasting. Oh, good cross! Oh! If, I'll tell you what, I'd love it if Joe scores today against this former man, but let me tell you this now. I've got my lineup spot on today, apart from Miller. We got a corner! Come on, boys! 16 and a half minutes in, already tempers flaring, like I expected today. Swansea won 2 0, so that's not good news, but Ipswich are winning, which is good news. The rest, all 0 0. This doesn't look good at all. We need to wake up more. Norwich 1-0 up at the Potters. Impact at some point. We've just taken a corner and we've given it away. Twenty-six minutes in, right? It's one of those. Oh sorry mate, it's one of those where we've got the more possession, but Preston's got the more chances. We've got to switch it up a bit. Ah! Such a wasted chance. 
No boot it like that in this league. Softest challenge I've ever seen. There was nothing in it and this stupid referee gives it. What has Ryan Lowe taught his team? A Gareth Ainsworth all over again. Good, but positive. Look at that. That's Ryan Lowe's personal cleaner. That's for you, Lowe! I think Miller's in trouble with at least a yellow. I think it's a red. I hate to say it, I was really late. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Hopefully it's just a yellow, because that is definitely a bucket. It's yellow now because it's gone more than 10 seconds. Oh yeah, probably. I hope so. That was late though. That was late. Well, it's a spur of the moment to begin it, you know? Exactly. I remember Scars against QPR. That didn't go very well. How many minutes are going to be added on there? Well, Preston's time wasters. That's why Ryan Lowe has turned into Gareth Ainsworth. What is he going to do? Put the yellow. We haven't been booked at all. Preston has seen been over there meanwhile, but... Oh, we've actually got... We've, we've actually got the referee on our side for us now. We're very lucky. We're very lucky. Right. Oh, he did, he did get booked. Oh, he did get booked. Never mind. My, my apologies. That's it. Clear it. Well, Miller's got to be careful because if he doesn't have one like that, he's oh, off. Should have been red. I thought it was going to be a red as well. Oh God! The same sh every week. How many more times do we want to concede um, early or first? I knew something was going to happen. The minute we couldn't clear it, and Preston's 1 0 up, their best player of the season's just scored, Liam Miller. And now we've got to fight back. This again, it's all these wasted chances. We've dominated them on possession. They've had the better shots, and now look what's happened. They're 1 0 up. Oh, for frick's sake. That positive point at Blackburn will be for nothing if we lose today. Come on, early days, early days. But it's early days, like Alex said, it is early days still. <laughs> ah, because he left because you're a bunch of snakes and he's gone for the money. I mean, to, I hate to say it, they, in a way, they are right though, because our form has been rubbish. We haven't won since Borough. I'm expecting. It's eight minutes. It's eight minutes. I was close. I said seven, but it should have been higher. You were bang on. It is far too late. Look how comfortable Preston is dealing with that as well. He dived. He freaking dived. He hasn't given it. Advantage to Preston, has he? No, he's giving it a okay. Oh, right. Go on! Oh. That is a booking at least! That's a booking! That's it! If that was a yellow earlier, that's a yellow now! Either way, Randall's got a free kick for us. He's one of our own! Come on, Adam. You've got two potential goal scorers taking the bloody free kick, get one of them in there. Yeah, and oh, Whitaker's the other one surrounding it. Where's, ha where's Hardy? I want to see a header from him. He's right in the middle. Oh, yeah, find Joe. That's not a bad idea. Whitaker's taking it. Hang on. Too late and too over. Have a go! Have a go! For God's sake! 
We got a corner out of that. No, oh, okay, fair enough. No. Come on, Pete's watching over there. Get on it! In! Yeah. No! That should have been 1-1! One, one. That should have been freaking 1-1! One, one. Even Pilgrim Pete can't believe it. Look how close that was. On another day, that would have been in 1-1, one, one, game on. Half time, but we're booing. Well, I know why, because we're losing. Alex, what's your late prediction? Well, I'm hoping for 2-1 win, but um, I'll settle for a draw. Fair enough. Not the prettiest of games so far. Half-time, Plymouth Argyle nil, Preston North End 1. That's how I feel. Look at my hands. That's how I feel. It's annoying, and it's three points that we need to get today. But we shouldn't be losing. We should not be losing at all. The referee's been a clot, so that hasn't helped. Although we have got away with one today, because Miller should have been sent off, I can't lie. I'm going to be honest, that was a red card all day long, and we have got away with one there. I can't lie, I thought it was even worse than Scar's challenge at QPR back in December. But overall, this is not good enough, and this just shows how much of a disastrous march this is so far. But look. Only 45 minutes has been, or in this case, nearly 55 minutes, because the amount of wait, the amount of time, um, time that was added on, that sums up Preston's diving for you. Anyways, that's all I think at the moment. We just need a we just need a goal and then, and then a second goal. That's all I care about. Who do we start with? Do I start with Mr. Martin or do I start with Mr. Rosefear? You say this every week now. No, don't start with me. Start the new part. Right, okay. Well, then, he's, deci he, he's decided it for me. Right, go on. What do you make so far? I mean, we've, we've had the chances, but... We haven't played bad. We just need to freaking deliver and score. Did you see our oh, matey boy's chance near the start? It, he just fucked it in. That's something I would do. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, overall, what's you make of the game so far? It's just the same old, really, isn't it? I'm getting fed up with it. We don't stop yeah. conceding first at this point, don't we? No, yeah. And, you know, if we lose this home game, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Unless we, unless we somehow do the biggest miracles ever by winning at Norwich in two weeks' time. No, we won't. Um, yeah, you're really not confident for Carroll Road, are you? No, absolutely not. No, we, we, can't, we, can't, we, we can't. And a two-no up at Stoke right now yeah. as well. But to be fair, we need that anyway, because we need Stoke to lose anyway. Yeah. We, we can't buy a home goal. We can't buy a home win. Where's our next home win coming from? We can't. Do you know what I mean? We're no longer a fortress at this point. No. And do you know why we're not a fortress? Because we've got, we got this this clown in charge. You know. Next home game is uh, QPR. Bristol City, then QPR. Sorry, Bristol and they're City. two must win games as well. They're yeah. right near us in the table. So after that, is Leicester and Hull. Bugger knows what's going to happen in those two. Um, so just well, Hull at this way, it'll probably be a, probably be a, a last game of the season job like uh, MK Dons. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, and they've got twice in their team. Leicester for me depends if they continue their rubbish form coming yeah. to the next month. I just think we need a goal second half. We need two goals. Two goals second We need half. two goals in general. I don't care who they come from, just get a goal. We do not we do not want I mean yes, it could be worse if we do get a point, but no, we want the three points. We're home, we're not away. No. You know how I feel when I'd rather have a point away from home than home. And also, if we lose today, I'm gonna say this now, we lose today. That point of Blackburn really meant freaking nothing at the end. I was so positive after that. And now look at us. Hopefully we change it second half. Come on, you greens. Come on, you greens. Yeah. Yeah. RV, 
Yeah. What do you make of that then? Argyle nil. Red I was looking the wrong way. Um, well, we played, we played, we played a little bit um, on the positive side for some of the game. But the way I see it, we've done the possession, all right. We just can't finish. Yeah. And that's where Preston's got the advantage. Yeah. Uh, well, when you play against Warren, no, of course he's going to have a possession-based ball game. He's a possession And of course manager. Ryan Lowe's come back to home club. He's diving all over the place as well. Yeah. Well, one of their players went off injured and then another one went off injured. Well, I've, I've stuck at the middle finger there, yeah. so I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's what I think of Ryan Lowe anyway. So. And then, yeah, Miller, yellow or red? Red. Red every day of the week. Liam, I'm... Miller, yellow or red? Come on, Green Man, let's see ya. Yeah, I thought it was a red. I, 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 I a blind... It wasn't a red. Stevie Wonder would be able to figure out if it's a red or a yellow. It's, it's an easy decision. Um, for context, guys, Stevie Wonder is Harvey's favourite person. He mentions him in every single reference he comes up with now. Yeah. It's his idol. Well, he is a good musician, so it can't say about that. Well, yeah. Borough, get a goal, please. Thank you and good night. And you, Robberham. They are losing to a Second half, second half has started, but I can't lie, I was not happy with the way the players came out. Only Joe Edwards came out early. We win together, we lose together. They should all come out as a team at the same time. I'm not confident we're going to get something from this game now. For our 17th defeat of the season, as it stands, rubbish. No. Okay. You. Get out, Coops. Look at Joe. Joe's got all that. Oh, he's gone in the middle. Frick's sake! He's been awful. His form is actually shocking. He's meant to be in the team of the season for the championship. Thank God, I was like, could have been two. Lads, wake up! Take him on, Randall. to win this game or not lose oh, Jack we've got to show intent and that as well intent to want to win the game oh. that was nothing you stupid referee genuinely the Wickham the Wickham of the championship Preston are Say Lino Sousa's come on as well. Hopefully, he can make a difference. Frick's sake. Green and white Barbie Arme! Green and white Barbie Arme! No. That's it, take your time. Who's that taking the corner? Oh, it's Liam Miller. Bugger it up, Liam, please. Cooper's done well there to keep that out. Bloody hell, could have been 2-0 Preston. We need to wake up, this ain't good enough. That's it, more like that. Come on, Lino. Joe! Oh, we're together. 
Rich had a shot then as well in half. And coming on sponsored by Ocean City Therapy is number 16, Alfie Devine. This just sums up how terrible we have genuinely been this month. At March meltdown. Even the Devonport end saying it as well. Everywhere. Disgraceful. Oh, your oh, football oh. is. Hey, you Foster, your football is. <laughs> Thank God for Cooper. Now get it out. And that's gone nowhere. He's brought Wayne on when we're one nil down and we need a crew to eat guys. I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. A ridiculous substitution. And that's no disrespect to Ben Wayne, but why wouldn't we why don't we just bring a sacker on instead? And honestly, I don't even care at this point because our club has been ruined by a bunch of Scousers. Go on! Yes! No! It's Michael Oliver in disguise. Uh, Home Park is actually toxic right now. This ref needs to. This ref thinks it's all about his hair. We can't score for sh at home. We're a f mess of a football club at the moment. I genuinely mean that. If we go down, Hullet's five year plan to keep us a sustainable club has gone down the drain already. We're actually a f mess of a football club right now. I am going Norwich, yeah, I know. Hopefully, we have a different manager in charge. He's got to go. Foster's got to go. His football is crap. Foster out, Warnock in. I'm calling this now, Hallett. Do what you need to do. Or get Jose Mourinho in, of all people. Won't happen, but give it a go. He's a proven winner. Just sums up the state of the football club we're in right now. Ah! 
It is still 1 0 Exeter as well. In this day, he couldn't get any worse. At least Ipswich won. At least Watford won. Rotherham Huddersfield drew. Sunderland QPR drew 0 0. The only downside, that's the only positive from today, is results, apart from Swansea. It doesn't matter. We're rubbish. Foster's got to go. He's got to go. And this ref is uh, all he cares about is his hair. I bet. See, if that was a Preston player that went down, he would have given a free kick. The f Look at them time wasting! You Foster! Your football is sh Says it all. Says it all. Foster out! Say we want Foster out! We want Foster out! Say we want Foster out! We want Foster out! Say we want Foster out! We want Foster out! Say we want Foster out! High face was right, all from the beginning. All from the beginning. Sorry, mate, you've got to go. You're not good enough. Disgraceful. We want Foster out! Say we want Foster out! We want Foster out! Say we want Foster out! Don't even bother coming to clap to us, Foster, because you never did it before today, did you? They can celebrate their win. Fair play to Preston, but they are time wasters. But I'm not going to excuse that. We're not good enough at all. We keep going the way we are. These next nine games, we are down. We are down. Seriously, get him gone. Get him gone. Foster out, say we want Foster out. We want Foster out, say we want Foster out. We want Foster out, say we want Foster out. And this just sums up how toxic we are. Someone's just bits and Melts. Freaking melts. It doesn't help that someone tries to ruin my video, don't they? Sums up the, the fan base of this club right now. We're actually all a bunch of... I'm joined by three Lily White fans right now who have to, who've come down to Home Park for the day. Um, so we're joined by... Um, Brian. We're joined by Brian. Billy. Billy. And Addison. And Addison. Three Preston fans here. Guys, good win for you at the end. What do you make of that then? Yeah, much deserved, I think. I think we dominated. Outside. We didn't dominate possession, but I think there's only one team going to win the game. Today. We just, we just, we, 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 we didn't have an answer at all. And we just didn't look off it. We didn't, we looked off it completely. And it's just, it's I irritating. Think, I think four would have been you know, perhaps three or four. No, I, I agree. You were the much better side. We we did better on possession, but shots-wise, we just didn't get anything. Yeah. Whitaker was close one time, and that was it. It was very close, because we were right behind that, and there were a few of us thought that yeah. we were in, and it, that would have been a bit unjust, I think. Oh, yeah, no, fair enough. So where does this put you in the table now? Are you back up to ninth or something? Because I know you're chasing playoffs. Yeah, good. Where are we? Ninth? Yeah, if we'd have beaten Stoke the other day, then probably I think we'd have been right back in the mix. Oh, yeah, definitely. We had um, that day against Stoke. You did. We don't need it, but then when it comes to... Yeah. Well, this is why I was confident today, because I saw the Stoke result going, oh, we might actually do something here. And I was impressed with our performance at Blackburn, but that today is just... That's put the curtains completely downhill for me now, and I know clearly what I want after today. So, And we I... go to Norwich next, so we'll try and do you a favour for I think, that. I think you try to play a really attractive style of football, but you yeah. haven't got the players to, to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just look really low in confidence. The number of times you gave us the ball without yeah. any real pressure on the ball, it, 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 was, it was easy Definitely. to press No, 100%. What was your score predictions before the game? Three, to Preston? Yeah, because yeah, I, I went really confident with Argyle and we, we, well, we've blown it, obviously. What did you both go before the game? I don't, I don't overthink it to be honest. Yeah, no, fair enough. You know, because I went to deep down earlier in the season. And well, obviously that, that was a that game you should have won that. To be fair, I well, thought. I thought first half we didn't deserve anything. Second half we were so much yeah. better, and I we just, we just didn't well, do it. But it is like we we were pressing for that equaliser. It just wasn't enough at the end. But where do you guys see 
you lot finishing in the table at the moment? If you had to pick one number right now. No. Ninth, okay. Eighth. I'd say ten. Fair enough. You don't think you'll get playoffs? It's real tough running. We've got last two games are Leicester at home and West Brom away. To be fair, Leicester's not a very good form at the moment, so you never know. But I saw you mean West Brom away on the last That's day. Good. Yeah, that is tricky. It might mean that a lot, is but tricky. I don't know. Well, we've got Hull on the last day at Which home, so well. we'll try and do you a favour for that just one. Just keep Blackburn down, will you? Yeah. Did, I hope they lost. Did they lose yeah. today? Drew today, I think. Oh, they yeah, drew. Okay. Yeah, drew nil today. Well, we should have beaten them last week, so <laughs> that was that. But no, it is what it is. Either way, though, it's um, no fair play on your win, though. Either way, um, well done. So, if we can win against a decent side, then we'll lose to like Rotherham or someone like that. And there you go. That's that's a right a right compliment to Plymouth. Well, we're not a decent side <laughs> at all. So you've done you've done the you've done the other way round today. So. No, yeah, fair play, guys. Have a safe trip back to Lancashire. Yeah, no, for cheers, that. guys. Cheers I appreciate it, it loads. That's a dent into today. Oh, 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 help me. That view alone is just the best thing of today. Just look at that. That Mountbatten, the sea, my God's County over there. I know the trees are in the in the are in, are in the way, but it doesn't matter. This is just more positive I see right now than what I see from back there. <sighs> I am done, lads. I am done. And more of my debrief will be right at the end. And I have got a lot to explain. <sighs> Craig, what do you make of that disaster? Full time, Plymouth nil, Preston one. <sighs> Where do we go from here? Jack, let's just start off by talking about the fans. Uh, in Devonport, one, two, three, four, and five, calling for Foster to go. There was fighting in the stands between people want Foster in and Foster out. Let's talk about that for a minute. Diabolical performance, you know, Preston rolling on the floor. Referee was their 12th man. Would you argue with that? Fair enough, Jack? Yeah, I'd probably agree, to be honest. Um, but Preston were the better side. They just had the three points, that's for sure. Um, the only players that can really come out of that performance for me, uh, Joe, possibly Michael Cooper. Uh, I, thought, actually, I thought Phillips and Gibson were decent today. Uh, I think Mecca Miller might be injured for the rest of the season. Uh, you know, it looks like uh, a bad injury. Oh, yeah, Bolo, speaking about Miller, yeah. was that a red, yellow or red card? Uh, I think it was a yellow card. Oh, OK. I, so I card. can't lie, I thought it was a red, but oh, that's I thought it was me. a yellow, um, but obviously I'm looking at a different angle to where people are. So. Oh, 100%, because obviously you're in the Devonport end, yeah, aren't you? So, so yeah. I think, um, I don't know what the fan, I think the club have got to acknowledge the, the unhappy fans that can really make their voices heard today. And that's a really... First time that the, the the fans have really turned on the manager. Would you yeah, agree with that? I agree completely. So there I, were well, there were some at Hillsborough when I went, but it wasn't the majority. It was more, vo it was more vo vocal. Definitely tonight. more vocal more today. Hundred percent. Because I didn't, I didn't voice it at Hillsborough. I only I said after the the Sheffield Wednesday game, yeah. I'm giving him one more chance because we've got to turn this around, and we're we're not you? we're not delivering. Yeah, I, it's gone for me. It's gone yeah. for me, and obviously I'm going to say more um, later on. But and, yeah, and no, all you carry I will on. Say is, um, Thank you for the memories, Foster. But it's time to say goodbye. He's got. To yeah, go. but fair enough. You've heard. You've heard the Green Fever himself. He is calling Ian Foster uh, to, to go. I was calling for the manager. Um, but it's Sheffield Wednesday. I was calling for. Him oh, to after go Sheffield there. Wednesday, yeah. Yeah. similar to Pie Face then. Then I said, look, okay, I'll, you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll still Foster out, but the performances are, you know, slightly better at Blackburn. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's just inconsistency. There's only been one performance that's been really good, and that was Middlesbrough. Can you argue, can you argue that? that was our best performance of the season, exactly. I'm going to be honest. And I even thought that was better than the 6-2 against and Norwich. Up to, and it's up, to, it's up to Simon Hallett now and the board, whether they sack him or stay with him. Basically. Because that's it, that's my thoughts. Thank you for having me on. No, yeah, no, no worries. Well, where do, um, where do we go from here? If he does go, who would you say would, would bring you, who would you bring in right now? Um, if you had to pick one person in this managerial world right now. I think it would have now. to be Super Neil Warnock, wouldn't it? I mean, he is. He's a court. He, he lives in Cornwall, doesn't he? he so it's just round. It's just down the corner for he lives him. In Cornwall, he's our golf through and through. He loves his club, and he definitely we would stand a better stead. We'd have more shots on target. The fans would be behind the manager, and I think it's only just going to go one way, Jack. Yeah, it's going to turn more toxic. I think the fans will want him in and want him out, and the fans really did make their voices heard tonight. If you had to pick one number right now, where do we finish this season? If you had to pick one number right now... Sorry, I know it's putting you on the spot, but I do this to everyone. I think... I think he'll keep us up if we don't sack him. Okay. Because other sides are worse than us. 
and we know who those sides are. We are, yeah. Results exactly. went up, luckily results went away today. That's Jack. the only good news about today, that's very true. If like Ipswich tormented Sheffield Wednesday. It would have been a lot worse for the manager. Oh, if, if it was if it was if we were in the relegation zone, I it it would be yeah. In fact we probably would have we're walking past Plymouth Railway Station right now. We'd probably be walking past freaking McDonald's in town centre right now. Yeah. That's how fast walked we would have been if that happened. But thank God it didn't. Uh, but yeah, more about more about me from the end. But yeah, no, yeah, fair play, Craig. That's that's his opinions. And uh, well, yeah. Like that motorcycle said, which has more passion than Home Park right now. Uh, Get the Green Fever to 800 subs yeah, if you haven't already. Yeah. And obviously, if you try and get me to 1,100, that'd be great. But yeah, we'll, uh, I'll hear from you all in a minute. The only good thing I see about tonight is the seafront. <sighs> Seeing the sea there alone just sums up all I want to see right now. Yeah, terrible jerk, I know. <sighs> hell. Sorry, mate, if you're watching this, it's time to go. It's time to go. There's no other excuses, no other exceptions. He's got to go. He has got to go. Ian Foster, has clearly shown today against Preston that he is not the right man for our football club right now. That's all I can say for my full-time thoughts, really. Plymouth nil, Preston won. That's four games now in a row. While, yes, we've played hard teams, that's four games in a row now. We have not had a shot on target at home. Which makes me sick to the core. We're tactically inept. We're toxic. There's nothing positive around this football club at the moment. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And he doesn't know what he's doing. He clearly does not do, know what he's doing. After the game and during that second half of the chance, summed up everything you need to know. Honestly, it was that embarrassing and... I don't know where we could go from here, to be honest. So, yeah, well, Norwich in two weeks. I genuinely... If I see that Scouser in charge at Norwich, we, I expect us to get battered 7-0. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He's lost his mind. He's lost the fan base. He's lost the players. Michael Cooper did a swirl like that. After the game, he doesn't even want him there. The players don't even like him. He's what mind do people now have thinking he's the right man for us? Because we're getting worse and worse and worse under him. He has got to go. He has a hundred percent got to go after today. And Preston, out of them, Coventry, Leeds, West Brom, Ipswich, look out of the five fixtures, the ones we were most likely going to get a result against. But no, 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 no. We got bugger all. The closest we got was Whitaker, nearly scoring in the second half. But that didn't do my mood up one bit. You know what to do, Hallett, if you're watching this. You know what to do. You have this international break to do the right thing for the whole club and the whole fans before we play Norwich away. Neil Warnock for the rest of the season. I'm genuinely being serious as well. And I still blame Shuey for all this because he left for the, all the money because he, he decided to go for all the richer clubs, like obviously. Pathetic. We had all this chance to get Scott Parker is in as our manager. Someone with championship quality. Someone who knows how to do well and get experience in this league. But no, this one, I'm sorry, is all down 
This one is all due on Deucep and Nance. We've hired the wrong person. I said, why don't we get Scott Parker in charge? He's proven for Bournemouth. He got Bournemouth pr promoted, for crying out loud. He is a championship quality manager. He didn't cut it in the Premier League with Bournemouth, but that doesn't matter to us right now. What could have we been right now had we had someone like Scott Parker in charge? But no, we chose inexperience instead. Do Sniff and Nance chose their friend instead. I love the loyalty, don't get me wrong, but if Simon Hallett, what seriously wants us to be a sustainable club in this league for at least five years, like he promised our whole fan base, we can't afford to go for risks like this. And the club's been completely torn apart. I'm not kidding, it has. The club has been completely torn apart. The fan base, Twitter, the style of play, the way we approach every game, the attitude is unbearable. And it doesn't help when our fans on Twitter, our so-called fans on Twitter get that toxic to people like me and others out there on what we should do and how people do our videos and all that, and et cetera, et cetera. Just everything around the club is appalling right now. We're genuinely, I'm not kidding, I'm going to say this right now, we are the most embarrassing football club in the EFL right now. Genuinely, I'm not kidding. We are the most embarrassing, disgusting, toxic, well, well and truly, well and truly, just nothing positive and the most negative club in the EFL right now. Do they not all realise how much this is impacting our club? Our club is falling apart because of Ian Foster. And the only reason why we'll stay up if we do at this rate is because of other teams being even more worse than we are. After Swansea away, we had the chance to build to build on this. I thought after Swansea away, we finally won an away game. This could take us forward. Middlesbrough, what a performance. But no. West Brom, shocking. Ipswich, good until our heads dropped. Sheffield Wednesday, absolutely shocking. Blackburn, I said it was a decent point, but it doesn't matter now. Because we got well and truly humbled 1-0 today by Ryan Lowe and Preston. Speaks for us all where in the second half, Joe Edwards was the only one before the second half to come out in a positive mood and out straight away. The whole team's meant to come out together and they didn't. They didn't. Which just shows the morale and attitude at this football club right now. It's pathetic. And it's all down to one man who is so negative, is tactically inept, is incompetent, he doesn't know what he's doing, his tactics are appalling, his excuses are inexcusable. Shocking, absolutely shocking. It's about time we do not have a freaking scouser in charge of our football club. He has got to go. He has got to go after what I've just seen today. Useless. Absolutely freaking useless. I swear to God, Hallett, if you're watching this right now, mate, you know what to do this week while we're not playing, before we play Norwich on the 29th. You know what to do. It's embarrassing. It's pathetic. You've realised you've made a massive mistake with this appointment. So please accept it. And do the right thing for our whole fan base. Get Neil Warlock in to rescue the rest of our season. And then build on another season in the Championship next season. No matter what the difficulties are. I'm speechless after today. Our club is completely falling apart. Because we're negative in every aspect. From the manager, from the attitude, the fan base, Twitter, social media, everything. Absolutely everything. Honestly, we're embarrassing. We deserve to be in League One for this. I'm not joking. We genuinely bloody deserve to be in League One after this. It doesn't matter that we've got two away wins now. It doesn't matter. We've now lost seven games at home this season. One eight. 
Home Park is no longer the fortress it once used to be. Home Park is a ruined zoo right now. That's how it feels right now. It was that toxic today. He's got to go. In what mindset do you say he keeps his job after that? He's battling for his job now, in my opinion, for that. I'm sorry, Foster, but thanks for the memories. I know there wasn't many because you came in in January. That's not your fault because Stephen Sumac had decided to join Stoke. For the money. He's got to go. You've, I'm sorry, Ian. Thanks for the memories, but your time's up. Your time is genuinely up. Get Neil Warnock in for the rest of the season. That's all I can say. The only ones players-wise today, by the way, that stood out for me, by the way, was Michael Cooper and Joe Edwards. Because they know how to give 110% to this amazing badge right here. It's toxic, our football club is right now. It's pathetic. We're the most embarrassing club in the EFL, the most toxic club in the EFL, the most vile club in the EFL at the moment. It's a disgrace. It's genuinely all an absolute disgrace. And something has got to be changed before we play Norwich at Carrow Road in two weeks' time. Because what I've just witnessed today was pure embarrassment and we cannot build from what I thought was the complete positivity from Blackburn. We're just tactically inept in every single way and we're useless. So it's clear on what I want now, after today. My, mind's been, my mind is now up, my time is up. Foster out tonight, tonight, genuinely tonight. Foster out tonight. Pie face will agree with me. Cam Vlogs will agree with me. The Green Fever will agree with me. Rose Fear and Liam will agree with me. England, I think, will agree with me. And about 90% of our fan base will agree with me. He has got to go. He has got to go. Tonight. Tonight. The only way we can stay in the championship is by getting a new manager and bringing Neil Warnocking to save our season. It's as simple as that. We have gone from one of the most attacking, attractive-looking football clubs in the country and the league to one of the most negative and most vile. Embarrassing. We're shocking. Absolutely shocking, clueless and tactically inept. You know where the door is, Ian. You know where the door is. Just honestly, pack your bags back to Liverpool or Saudi Arabia tonight. Get that flight from London Gatwick Airport or Bristol Airport right now. Just please. You've, he's got to go. He has got to go because today just sums it all up. Preston wanted it more. They had a better attitude than us. Ryan Lowe wanted to get a double over us. He had. We're shocking. We're shocking. We've dropped to 18th in the league. The only positive from today is that results have gone our way. Results have completely gone our way. Sheffield Wednesday got battered by Ipswich. Birmingham lost to Watford. Stoke lost to Norwich. But right now, from the relegation scrap, from Swansea all the way down to Sheffield Wednesday, we are right now the joint second most out of form team out of all these clubs, with Stoke only behind Birmingham. I'm not counting Rotherham because I think they're down and out already, but Rotherham, have a, uh, Rotherham obviously have the worst form, but it's Rotherham, then Birmingham, and then joint third between us and Stoke, which is going to make our game at the Bet365 in April even more hard and even more important if we want to stay in this freaking league. And it's embarrassing because we've waited 13 years to be in this league again. Make the most of it. We're not making the most of it at all right now because we're hiring a manager who doesn't give a crap. And there I said it. He's got to go. He has genuinely got to go tonight. Can pack his bags and bugger off back to Liverpool. I'm being serious. I'm actually being serious. We're genuinely an embarrassment. The whole club, from top to bottom... What he's done single-handedly to this football club ever since those amazing away wins has been none other than toxic from top to bottom. Our club's been torn apart. It's fallen apart. 
I've never heard Home Park more toxic or rancid in my life. It's disgusting and it's heartbreaking as well. So where do we go from here? Warnock, end of the season. Seriously, bring him back. He lives in Cornwall. He loves Argyle. He loves Cornwall and Devon. Bring in someone who actually gives a f about us. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. He doesn't even understand the meaning and the passion of football down in this part of the country. Of course he wouldn't. He's from Liverpool. This is Plymouth Argyle Football Club we're talking about. Plymouth Argyle Football Club. After Bristol City, potentially the biggest club in the southwest of England. And our manager seemed to not care about that one bit. The badge. Sorry about the raindrops, but anyways. The badge, the green jersey, the green training tops, where we're based in the country, where we come from, the training around here that you can have. I'm done. I'm seriously, I am done. I'm f done. My mind has now officially been made up after that result today. A joke. And I know what I want now for the rest of the season. Thanks, Foster. You've destroyed this football club. And you have, especially if you're here for the rest of the season. And it's the reason why we go down. All our hope this season, all my hope of us finishing 13th or 15th in the league, because I have the heart and care that we could potentially do well and exceed expectations. But no, your negative style of ball and play is what's jeopardising all that. Get on that plane now. Seriously, get on that plane now. Go to Newquay right now, pack your bags and buy yourself an easy jet to Liverpool because you're not good enough for this club. I'm sorry, Foster. Thanks for the memories, but you've got to go. You've got to go. And that, that's all I need to say about today's result and performance, really. That's all I want now. My mind's been officially made. I gave him one last chance after Sheffield Wednesday. For sure, he delivered at Blackburn, sort of. Some of the fans weren't happy, which I can see why, because we should have won. And Blackburn went down to 10 men and they were in poor form. Preston just lost to freaking Stoke last weekend to Deepdale. So I came into this game going, oh, if we continue the positivity from Blackburn, we could potentially get our home form back and win this. But no. We're now an embarrassment to this league. And it's clear on what I want now after, um, after, after tonight. And I'm just looking at the seafront because there's nothing better else to look at. He's got to go tonight. End of story. See you all at Norwich in two weeks. Before that, though, I am going to Torquay next weekend, guys. Because... Obviously, what they're going through is awful right now. I can't wait to be at Plainmore next weekend. It's hopefully going to be a good day. We Please save Torquay United. I wouldn't wish stuff like this on anyone. And we'll see you there. Sorry for the, um, for the ending tonight, because unfortunately, it's moments like these where you've got to let it all out and vent it all out. I'm done. See you at Torquay. And then after that, for the next championship episode, see you in Norfolk against the Canaries. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth, up the Greens. Come on, you boys in green. Green Army, we need to wake up. Foster's got to go, and that's the end of it. Good night. I'm sorry, pack your bags and go tonight. Goodbye. When they pull on the green, they're all Janners.